Hello royal folks. It's good to see you all here again, this is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. Princess Charlotte is already proving that she is far from a spare to brother Prince George, thus starting to prove Prince Harry wrong as she approaches her special day. The Wales youngster has started attending more things with her parents following the death of Queen Elizabeth II, and despite being only seven, turning eight next week, Princess Charlotte appears to be taking it all in her stride. The youngster's confidence has grown over the past 12 months, from her confident message to the women's England football team to having the opposite personality to her brother Prince George. And whilst her uncle Prince Harry previously revealed his fears for young kids like Princess Charlotte, who are not firstborn could fall into the trap that he did when growing up, royal expert Jenny Bond believes the Wales middle child will prove him wrong. Speaking to Oak, Jenny explained why Charlotte is so young still, but hopefully she is not going to fall in the trap that Prince Harry suggested might be waiting for her and feel a spare part because she is the spare to her elder brother. She added, I mean, Harry has a huge chip on his shoulder about being a spare. We all know that now, but he doesn't have to assume that William and Catherine's children will feel the same as him. Following the release of his memoir Spare, Prince Harry told The Telegraph, Though William and I have talked about it once or twice, and he has made it very clear to me that his kids are not my responsibility, I still feel a responsibility knowing that out of those three children, at least one will end up like me, the spare, and that hurts, that worries me. But Jenny has likened Princess Charlotte's future role to that of Princess Anne. She explained, Look at the look at the Duke of Edinburgh, and particularly look at the Princess Royal, they didn't feel like the spares. They've gone out there and made it clear they don't feel second class in the least and worked hard regardless. She added, Charlotte and Louis will be very important people with huge privilege and a huge platform, and so they don't need to feel spare. I would anticipate that she'll grow up and, and go to university, and that I think she will probably the same work ethic as Princess Anne, in that she'll have that no-nonsense attitude and get on with the job in hand. What Jenny says ties in with reports that Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis are paving the way for a collective future monarchy. Speaking on Good Morning America, addressing the royal family's codependence on the media, he said, I worry about other young kids within that family if this continues. Because who's to say that someone else doesn't fill my shoes and that their partner, whether it's a husband or a wife or a boyfriend or a girlfriend, doesn't get treated exactly the same as Meghan did. But Princess Charlotte has shown her supportive side to her siblings, from correcting Prince George's posture to giving a subtle reminder on waving to younger brother Prince Louis. Something which we can expect Princess Charlotte to continue with during the King's coronation, which will be watched by millions on TV, costing in the region of $123 million, 100 million pounds, and features a coronation concert during the weekend celebrations. So what do you think about this news, guys? Please share your thoughts in the comments and let me know what you think. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.